Hey, it's Kaylee. Let's check out how absolute value exists in the real world and when it's handy to use it. Ready? Let's go. Oceanographers floating on a boat are studying animals that can be observed from sea level. From where they are, they can spot three different species. The clownfish at negative 45 feet or 45 feet below sea level. The coral reef is at negative 68 feet or 68 feet below sea level. And there are silver gulls flying 50 feet above them. They want to know what species is closest to sea level. What does this mean in the scenario? It means the depth or elevation that is closest to zero. We can do this by taking the absolute values of each animal's position and then ordering them from least to greatest. So let's do that. So starting with the fish, we know they're down here at negative 45. So their location is negative 45 feet. And if we take the absolute value of that, we get 45 feet from sea level. Okay, next up we have the coral reef. So the coral reef is down there at negative 68 feet. And when we take the absolute value of that, we get 68 feet. Perfect. And lastly, we have those silver goals. So the birds are at 50 feet above sea level, and that gives us just positive 50 feet. So we need to order these numbers from greatest to least. So what's the smallest number? That's right, we have the fish at 45 feet. And then what comes next? The next smallest will give us the birds here at 50 feet. And then lastly, the ones that are furthest away from the boat or from sea level, that would be the coral reef at 68 feet. Nice work. Okay, let's look at one more example. Have you heard of the Iditarod? It's a big dog sled race in Alaska. The dogs who run these races are like athletes. They train and eat in certain ways to prepare for the race. The humans who race the dogs have to pay close attention to the weight of the dogs as the race nears. Here's how the sled dog's weight has changed in the month leading up to the race. Now using this data, we wanna answer three questions. Who lost the most? Who had the biggest weight change? And who had the least or the smallest weight change? So the first one, which pup lost the most? This means which dog lost the most weight? So we are looking for a number that is the farthest from zero in what direction? Well, lost usually means subtract or negative, right? So which of the dogs here has the bigger negative number or the negative number that's farthest from zero? Well, it's either between Nala or Yeti. Is negative four or negative 2.5 farther from zero? Yeah, negative four is farther from zero than 2.5. So that means Nala lost the most. Now this one says, who had the biggest change? That means which dog had the largest change in weight? Does that mean we're looking for positive or negative? Either one, right? So to do this, let's take the absolute value of each of the dog's change in weight and the biggest number will be the biggest change. So if we take Loki's, the absolute value of five is still equal to five. For Nala, the absolute value of negative four will give us a change of four. And Yeti, the absolute value of negative 2.5 will give us 2.5. So which of these numbers is the largest? Yeah. Five is the largest, so that means Loki had the largest change in weight. Did he gain weight or did he lose weight? He had a 
change of positive five. So that means he gained weight. Now who had the least change? To do this, we want to know the absolute value of each dog's weight, and then the least change would mean the closest to zero, so the smallest number. So since we already took our absolute values here, we are now looking for the smallest number. That would be Yeti, right? 2.5 is the smallest. So Yeti had the least change. Did he lose or gain these two and a half pounds? Since this is negative, that means Yeti lost 2.5 pounds. Good work. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Iditarod too. Look at that, using absolute value in the real world. Fantastic work. You're ready to practice on your own. You can always come back to the videos for a refresher if you need it. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.